Thursday. I am outside embarrassing my daughter, taking the trash cans out to the curb in my robe. But you know, yep, I'm trying to stop saying that. But one of the beautiful things about, you know, having your children get older is you're always going to embarrass them eventually. It just happens. So that's okay. And that's true. She doesn't have to take the trash out. So, anyway. It is 7.55 and I've got some tidying to do. We ran the dishwasher before we went to bed last night. But, you know, get up in the morning and there's always stuff from snacks. And not a lot to do. But you can see the cats have been on the table. And I've got some blankets to pick up. Oh, and I have to unload the dishwasher so I'm gonna try to get all this done in 15 minutes and I'll be back because I have errands and thought I'd take you guys along it's 8 13 I didn't do too badly I was almost finished and the phone rang so I'm still drinking my coffee but the kitchen is behold the magic of quick clean done I do have to still wipe down my counters haven't done that yet the living room, you know, all the bedding, blankets kind of thing, throws are put away. My daughter's school stuff is out, but she's getting ready to head out. I've swept. I'm going to probably steam mop myself out when I leave, so it's time to get ready for the day. Ignore the beast in the background. Uh, she is a huge drying rack. I do affectionately call her the beast. We live in an area where the HOA has all of these rules about what you can put out in your yard and what you can't. So, can't really put a lot out there as far as like drying racks and things. Oh, sorry, I need a towel. And this really works well because I have a huge bathroom. So, it allows me to kind of spread out and do it. She'll hold two maybe three loads of laundry she'll even hold bedding but usually i dry the bedding and the towels but we have a lot of things that we don't want to dry in the dryer and it's just a lot more frugal to hang your clothes to dry while i'm thinking about it this chi i'm hoping i've got this where you can see it um chi silk infusion i actually buy at fantastic sam's and the lady that does my hair there, she told me to try this on my face. I have dry skin through here and across here. It seems like no matter what I do, and of course it's worse in the winter. She told me to try this anyway. And I have tried it, and I have actually been really pleased with it. I, let me see, it is a little pricey. The six ounces is $26.50, but I have been using this for months, and it still feels almost as heavy as it did when I got it. So anyway, if you're just looking for something to try, that's worth trying. Now, as far as makeup, I have allergies, a lot of allergies. So I have a tendency, if I find something that works for me, to stick with it. And I am pretty much a drugstore makeup kind of person. I'll occasionally buy something nice, but I hate to spend a lot of money because I never know what I'm going to react to. One of the well a set of products that I have found that work really well for me are the L'Oreal True Match. I do well with their products. I don't seem to have a reaction to them and just FYI which you'll figure out as you watch me. I'm kind of a minimal makeup kind of person so I'm just going to chatter to you while I do this. We um, had a Kind of off night for us. I was very tired. I earlier this week I thought it was just the weather kind of dragging me down, but turned out to be either a migraine or a virus. Take your pick. I don't know, but it settled in my head and I was awake Sunday morning. Well, Monday morning, I guess technically, about three o'clock. Most awful head pains. Made it through Monday doing the essentials. And then I proceeded to kind of, you know, get through Tuesday. Tuesday wasn't so bad. And yesterday I was actually starting to feel human, but I still had that residual tiredness. So last night I passed out on the couch. I didn't take anything out for dinner tonight, which I usually do the night before. So my meats can thaw since I do, you know, once a month shopping. And I... 
Just didn't do anything. I, I did set up the coffee pot, but that was it. This morning, I'm kind of behind the eight ball. Kind of put out a few fires, did some things that I would normally do in my night routine. And I am heading out to run some errands. I am out of, or so close to out of, it's not funny, my favorite shampoo. So I'm going to go look for that. I also, this is one of the few um, mascaras that I can use. And I am like scraping the bottom of the tube. So I'm going to check for some of that today. So I have CVS on my list of places to go. And I'm thinking... Feeling kind of pink today. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's the um, CoverGirl True Naked Roses. I am thinking that my plan is to also go to Goodwill while I'm out, since I'm going to be close anyway. And it's just always a fun, pleasant stop. So that is kind of the agenda for today. And then I have to, you know, when I get back here, I've got some schoolwork to do. It is term paper time. I have my draft written for one and my finally did get the APA stuff set up for the other one. So I think I've got that right, but I had to put it down, come back to it hopefully today so that, you know, I'm looking at it with fresh eyes because when you read something, when you write it yourself, you kind of know what you want it to say and you fill it in accordingly. Oh, let's see. I have very deep set eyes and I've noticed in all these videos they always look really dark and I don't know what to do to combat that. They are just deep set and I do have the occasional circle under them no matter how tired I am or not. Just part of my coloring, part of having a pale face I guess. So I am foregoing eyeliner today other than just a little bit on the bottom if I can find what I'm looking for here. Sorry, I didn't mean to step out of the view of the camera. I'm going to go with this. Hmm, I don't have on my glasses and I can't tell you what color it is, but it is a bluish teal type color. Sorry, I've got to lean forward to do this because I can't see otherwise. My mom always told me that the reason your eyesight went bad as you got older was so you couldn't see all the wrinkles. Kind of laughed at her when she used to tell me, but you know, every year I'm like, oh, and so I see a little one here and a little one there. Not ready to throw in the towel and just not wear anything, but... There may have been some wisdom to what she said, which often happens. I feel like I should be playing some Jeopardy music or something. If my husband was here, he could hum it for you perfectly. I'm horrible at it. One D blush. I just use just a little bit. I don't do contouring, all that. I've tried it. I feel like I have stuff caked all over my face. And I'm just not crazy about that feeling. I'm, I'm a little bit more, I don't want to go completely natural all the time, but I'm a little bit more of a minimalist when it comes to it. Just a little bit of color. And my last bit is my lipstick. And today I am going with a bright color because it is dreary outside. And I want to use this e.l.f. Oh, I should wear my glasses. Rich Red. I just bought this out at CVS. They were having, you know... Sorry, guys. I know I say that a lot. They were having a sale, and I picked up several pieces to try, and I really like this color. We all have things about ourselves that we're self-conscious about. And a couple of years ago, I had a mild stroke. 
it was related to undiagnosed hypoglycemia. And so I'm always self-conscious because I know that my face just doesn't hang perfectly symmetrical anymore. And a little bit of makeup just gives me that boost that I'm like, okay, you know, it, it's not so bad. And that is it. That is all I'm wearing on my face today. I'm going to do my hair and then I'll take you guys with me and we'll see what we can find. In the car, better lighting outside and it is 45 degrees. I know, I know, I know for you folks that are in much colder areas, 45 sounds hot to a southerner. 45 is cold. So we're off, ready to face the world. <laughs> Just wanted to show you this cute little sign that my sister made me, a sister and her boyfriend. Isn't it adorable? Didn't do too badly, made it home. I just wanted to share with you what I picked up. I got shampoo and conditioner. I do color my hair and that does damage it some, so I find these work really well. They're, they actually last me a really long time. Uh, gentle eye makeup remover pads because getting mascara off is just difficult. Then makeup remover wipes. I have not tried these before, so I'll let you know how they do. Hose, because for a presentation that I'm doing, I have to wear nude hose. I rarely do. I like color or tights, but mascara, which is what I went to pick up, and it is the One Coat Extreme Length. Then I saw several videos about these nails. I do not like to pay $60 to have my nails done. It's just, you know, seems like a waste to me. Not that it's bad if anybody else wants to do it. It's just not my thing. And years ago, I tried, you know, the quote unquote fake nails that you put on yourself and they were horrible, but that's been a long time. So I'm going to try these again and I'll let you know what I think of them. And I'm going to link to a video below. I believe it's from Do It On A Dime and so that you can see how to put these on because I am not coordinated enough to record it. So that's what I got at CVS. Now, whew, whoever said beauty was cheap, did not know what they were talking about. It, it was $54.81 and that was actually with some discounts. These were buy two, get one free. And the, hmm. Eye makeup remover pads were actually on sale and I did get a four dollar rewards coupon and I also stopped by Goodwill sorry walking you around and I am slowly trying to change my downstairs bathroom and I've got a pop of red in it it's a small room I picked up two of these I'm hoping I can't get my arms far enough back for you to really see them but there are two of them and I like the color. Of course, I love florals. So I'm going to try to put these up in the bathroom, maybe stagger them. I haven't decided yet. And then this one I bought just because I really like it. Forgive my mail. I stopped at the mailbox. 
it is a little scuffed up but I tend to like distressed furniture and things and I just like this one so anyway all total at Goodwill I spent $20.35 for these three pieces which is not bad at all I've been scouring for a while so that is it for our morning with me this stack, forgive my mess, this stack of school books is calling my name and I'm going to sign off of here, get to work cause you know, fun and games are over. Thanks for tagging along with me. I enjoyed your company today. And you know, I, it's kind of a how life is around here. So thanks for sharing it with me and I'll be back. Hope you guys have a great Thursday afternoon. Bye.